All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today, we have got Jack joining us from Texas. So Jack is a small business owner. He's also a father to three beautiful daughters and a husband. And he's kindly agreed to come on the channel today to just share his story and offer you some inspiration of his experience over the past few months and really the awesome transformation that he's gone through. So thanks a lot for doing this, Jack. And uh, yeah, welcome. Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Awesome, bro. So how much have you, uh, sorry, how long have you not drank for now? It's been 78 days now. Awesome, man. And when was the last time you went 78 days without drinking? It was like a three-month stint. And I want to say it was back at the end of 2015. It could have been the end of 2016, but I'm not real sure. Awesome, man. Doing, doing great. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, let's, let's jump into it. So what, what was your drinking like, Jack, before you had um, got started with the program? Every day. Uh, pretty much all day, every day. Um, I'm from Arkansas, but I moved here to Texas. Like when I was back home in Arkansas, it was liquor stores that opened at seven. And I'd be right there opening up with them. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it wouldn't be heavy through the day, but it would, you know, I'd, you know, hit it, get off of it, come back to it, you know, just long enough, just, just enough to fill a buzz all throughout the day. But I say I was a pretty heavy drinker, you know, um, uncontrollable, you know. Um, yeah, I mean, it was like clockwork every day. And then when I got here, the liquor stores didn't open till 10. So what I usually do was like double up. That way when I woke up, I had what I needed. You know what I'm saying? I had a bottle ready for me in the morning. Yeah, man. So, so how was this uh, the drinking impact in your life? Like, what what was it looking like? Man, it's uh, in a lot of ways, man. Uh, my workload it would affect my workload. Of course, it it affect home. It it affect the just my my like being here, being present with my family. You know what I mean? I, I could be here and be out of it at the same time and maybe be a little angry sometimes, aggressive, you know. I mean, I didn't do nothing out of the, you know, whack, but uh, it was, I mean, it was when, when, when it was just like me in the home setting, I wasn't bad, but I wasn't here. I wasn't much help. I ain't going to lie, you know. I would, but I wasn't much. You know, um, and when I be in the party settings, you know, around the people, the social setting, it probably I'd probably be a little much. You know, people would probably give me a little break because they knew I'd be drinking, but it'd probably be, you know, doing too much, if you will. But for the most part, it was it it wasn't good. <laughs> it wasn't good. Seems like a. Distant memory now. Yeah, it, it kind of does. You know, it kind of does. But I, I still remember times. I still, like a lot of things I look back on, I, I remember. But, yeah, the feeling is distant. Awesome. So so then, uh, Jack, what did you, what did you do to try to stop drinking before you got started with the program? Like, what are the things that you tried? Uh, I tried, like, AA. Uh, I tried, you know, willpower, my own discipline, you know, just, you know, I, I've tried a lot of things. Uh, I would try to substitute it with other stuff, you know, maybe treat myself, but it didn't last long because it was just a, uh, it was just a habit that I got used to that could nothing take the place of it. You know what I mean? If I answered your question. Yeah, yeah. You, you've been trying AA and uh, you tried willpower. You tried just like gritting through it, changing things. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and how long had it been a problem? Uh, it's been a problem, like I would say. 
over 20 years. I mean, it wasn't that bad in the beginning. It really got worse, like around in my, it, it really got worse in my early 30s is when it started becoming a regular daily thing. You know what I mean? And um, it just, it was like a, a cycle, you know what I'm saying? I I go hard and it have to have it every day. Then I get tired of it, fall back for a little bit and get back in it. But I'd say like 36 was when I was really starting to, no, I would say like 32 is when it became a regular thing, you know, like drinking water. Yeah, man. So what was it that made you decide to join the program, Jack? Uh, just the logic behind it, you know. Um, like it kind of, like just the videos before I joined the program, like they were making sense, you know, and it, all of what you were saying, like I felt like it was me, you know. And uh, I just, I, I felt it was, it was time to try something, you know, other than what I have tried over and over. I just felt like, I mean, and I, I got a vibe that it was just something that I, I should try. Yeah, I remember, uh, I remember talking with your wife and your wife was just like, you got to do this, man. Just, just yeah. go for it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She's uh. She's been a big help, man. She's been a big supporter. I can't lie. Yeah. How is uh how she found it all? Did you say what? How, how's your how's your wife found everything? Like what's 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 uh man? What she, she said. Loved she loved it, you know. Um like what I was telling you earlier, like that wouldn't be possible if I was still drinking, you know. Uh it's a lot of trust that you know, it it feels funny saying it about myself, talking about myself like this, but it's a lot of it's a lot of trust that I can see that she's gained since I decided to, you know, become sober clear. Um I mean it's it it's it's day and night almost. Her. I mean, I know it is with me, but just her is a big change in her too, with uh, being confident and knowing that I am, uh, I'm here, you know. Yeah, and I think, you know, it's like when uh, we promise the people that we love again, again, I'm not going to do it again, I'm not going to do it again, that's it, I'm finished, I'm finished. You say it again and again and again, and then when you turn around and you actually do it, it just, it just the confidence of that person was just, the yeah. way they see you, it just goes, it's like, yeah. oh, they really did it this time. Right. Hundred percent. I mean, I could I could talk about it, but yeah, a hundred percent. Awesome, man. So, how how has uh, this program been different to you know the willpower, the AA, the other stuff that you tried? Well, like I said, without going into it, it was like just the simple logic into what it is, what it does to you, you know, you know, the, the, I'm trying not to say too much, it, you know what I mean? Uh, it's just when, when I was going through the program and, you know, the modules, it just, for what I wanted to quit before. And then with that backing it, it just made it a lot better, you know, cause this time I really felt that I really saw the change I needed to make. Yeah. And like I said, with the uh the logic behind it, it it, it kind of became easy. You know, like I it, it it's real easy now. Yeah, and I think you know it, you've done so well because you were just at a point where it was so obvious that it was like this has got to go. You know, you had that desire, you wanted to make the change. Yes. And then it was like, but then but what I've been trying hasn't working. So this just kind of solidified everything for you and just put it into perspective where it was like, oh, now I get it. 
hundred percent. Yes, sir. Awesome, man. So, so what does life look like now, Josh? Like, what kind of good things have been happening? Uh, it's clarity. You know, a lot of clarity. Um, back then, there were a lot of I hit a lot of bumps in the road. You know what I'm saying? Without getting into specifics, I hit a lot of bumps in the road, and now it's just, it's just like, just coasting if you will, like, I mean, things are happening, things are falling into place. And it's just, like I say, things are coasting. Like, it's a lot easier. Um, daily, just daily events, just, I mean, everything is, I, when I was drinking, I was really out of there, you know. It's just, I'm paying attention to so much and like, I'm just, it's making me grateful for the moment. You know what I mean? Yeah, one hundred percent, man. And like, um, so I know, like, yeah, your 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 wife's really happy. And uh, what about like your business? How how has that been different? <laughs> Big difference. And you know, it's sad to say. I mean, a lot of people know it. You know, a lot of my people know what's up. Um, Now I will throw the disclaimer and say it wasn't all me, but what I will say is that now that that is gone, like I have no problems, like no problems, like uh, pro projects are going way faster, a um, lot less mistakes, you know, um, just better relationships with the clients. Um, my organization could be a, a little better, but it's a lot better from back then for sure. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm kind of gung ho about things now. I mean, I was then, but now it's more force behind it. You know what I mean? Uh, it's just, uh, it's just flourishing, man. And like I say, things are all right and I'm not, I'm halfway not even trying. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I don't want to, I don't want anyone to take that the wrong way, but it's different. It's a lot different. It's just like flowing. It feels natural now. Yes. Yes. Awesome, man. What are the what are the benefits have you found, Jack? Uh energy, for sure. Um I know it don't really sound like it but i can speak better you know um my mind is clear a little sharper a little faster uh uh heartburn ain't as bad for sure you know stuff like that um i mean a lot man almost everything you feel me like it's hard when someone puts you on the spot, right? Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All good, man. So so what's uh, what's one piece of advice you'd give to somebody that's thinking about getting started with the program, Jack? Do it. Just go into it. Um, like the first couple of weeks, I would say, like, Just take it in, just embrace it, like make it, almost make it a part of every conversation you have with anybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, some people may not, that may not work, but that's just, that's my advice, you know, just to, uh, if, if they join, you know, stay in the Slack, uh, communicate with people doing what you're doing and just, just embrace it, you know, if, if, if that's what you want to do, you know, I, uh, when I go in stuff, I go like head first and that's what I did. And I think it worked because now like I'll preach your gospel to people and won't, and won't, and don't even realize I'm doing it. You know what I mean? Don't even realize I'm doing it, but that's just what kept me 
like just keeping it in my head just all day, every day. And now it's like, like I say, I look up, people ask me all the time, what day is it? I look up, I'm three days past what I thought it was supposed to be because it's just easy now. Yeah, so I think you're saying, you know, just just embrace the program and uh, and commit to it and and commit. use the tools that are there that are necessary for you. But then yeah. also, I think what you're saying as well is that you you've got like a very firm mindset now around alcohol. And um, yeah, when you meet when you meet people and they they push different things on you, you're just like, nah, my my right. worldview is much stronger. Mine 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 is better. Right, hundred percent. And you know, that has been happening a lot. But the thing is, um, first thing I say is, you know, I ain't passing no judgment. I don't care what you do. I just know what I can't do. You know, I know what it does to me. You know what I'm saying? So to anybody looking at this course, I say do it immediately. <laughs> so just just one, one of the questions just came to my mind when you're talking, because I know that you got uh, a bit of pushback from like a, a friend or two that were when you were, um, you know, just in the beginning of the journey. And I know you handled it really well. So what did you do when you when you told your friends about the, you know, what you were doing? Uh, you mean the one, the the negative one or two? Yeah, yeah. Like how did you, how did you personally deal with that? I think that's, that's uh, quite interesting. Well, one of them was really close, uh, close partner of mine. Uh, I was telling him about, you know, what I, what my plans were. I, I didn't talk about this, this course, but I mean, I was just telling him what my plans were. And he was like, uh, if we do that, if you do that, you know, we can't be friends. Right. And it was joking, you know, but at the same time it came out of his mouth. So in a nutshell, I knew where we were in that moment. You know what I mean? Like I knew where we were. Like if he called, I, I'm a, I'm gonna talk to him. You know what I mean? But I knew that we were going in two different paths and it just, it helped me because I knew if I kept going that way, it wasn't going to end up right, you know? And um, like I say, most, most, most everybody I'm around that still indulge in things, they, they still pat me on the back. You know, they give me, they salute me and everything because they know my fight. They, you know, they know what I was going through. And I mean, like I said, it was that one guy, but for the most part, everybody's been supportive you know and that's all i've been asking for is just a little support because if i get in a rut which now it don't really work i know back early if i got in a rut that was where my mind went, you know but um yeah dealing with the, the the naysayers and all that i really don't have too long of a conversation with them, you know to answer your question i i, I, don't, I don't really entertain it much yeah, I love it, man. Awesome. Well, thanks. Thanks so much, Jack. Yes, sir.